I'm going to toggle back to investing in a second. There's a thing going around, I'm sure you have heard of it, where people are essentially doing this drafting strategy and investing, watching people who seemingly know what they're doing, namely Nancy Pelosi. Have you heard of this, like Pelosi drafting? Uh, I mean, they're mimicking her portfolio? Yeah, they're, they're literally watching her every single move or her husband's move. And they're, whatever she buys, you know, they buy, obviously not in, in the quantity or the amount, but they're just literally drafting and, do, and replicating, copycatting what she's doing. And, and these people are having remarkable success. And, you know, there's, of course, the conspiracy theorists who, who will yeah. say, you know, she, she has insider information, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is she's been extremely successful in her investments and her, her husband has been as well. I mean, they sort of invest together, but... Um, so you haven't heard of that? Well, look, there's a lot there. So first off, I mean, I personally believe no elected official. I think they should be have to put everything in a blind trust. They just have access. They're just privy to information around FDA approvals or whatever it is that they just shouldn't be able to trade stocks, in my view. Um, the second is I love the idea of investing in an index. I actually have an there's the people have like built anti Galloway indices because I've been very critical of some VCs. So they cherry pick my losers and talk about my losses. I'm actually thinking of publishing my all of my investments and having them audited. But I, in general, I think the learning there is, I think it's good, one of the keys to wealth is, diversif- is diversification. And yeah, if you wanna to go to the Pelosi Index or you wanna do Chinese internet stocks, it's fine to go a little bit more subsector, but definitely don't do single stock investing and just be willing to hold on for a while. I think diver- diversification, if you will, is your Kevlar and that is, uh, you know, I bought a cent of stock when it was at two dollars and fifty cents, and I sold it for forty cents. I bought Netflix at twelve bucks a share. It's now at five hundred and fifty, but it, I went to ten bucks and I sold it. I've made some huge mistakes in investing. I mean, huge mistakes. I've taken bullets, but they hit my Kevlar because I was diversified. I also had Apple. I also had Amazon. You know, and the key is you don't need to be a hero. Put on a Kevlar vest, and the Kevlar is diversification. Don't put more than, unless it's your own business, and then you might not have any choice. I've always had a lot of wealth tied up in the businesses I started, but diversification is your Kevlar. Yeah, and I was going to ask you, I'm glad that you mentioned it before I did. I was going to ask you why Jason Calcanis hates you. I mean, he's got your... I don't know. Do you know why? I'm not exaggerating. He spends an hour a day trolling me, sketches, videos... Um, follows me everywhere and says really awful things. And I, I, at some point, at some point, it's like got to be flattering, but I don't know the guy. I don't know. I don't know what, what, you know, what I did to piss him off, but I definitely did something to piss him off. Small dick. I don't know. Uh, he's got, he's got issues. Uh, but it's always curious why they're, they're hunting you down. I mean, I mean, listen, everyone's got trolls, right? And you're out there, uh, not in a small voice. You're, you're making, you know, uh, audacious predictions and claims. And there's a little bit of fanfare and, you know, uh, celebrity maybe that maybe he envies. I don't know what it is, but it's... To, it's- and I want to be clear. Some of it's warranted. I've made some very provocative calls that have been wrong. And I I should expect and be subject to scrutiny. At some point, though, it just feels, I mean, at some point, I'm expecting him to show up and profess his love for Jodie Foster and pull a gun. I mean, it's gotten kind of strange. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that, <laughs> you know, tracking my roots.